Alright everyone, welcome back to Okami HD. Parentheses HD and parentheses. Uh, right, yes, okay. We're up to the um, Crimson Hill. I remember. Almost forgot, but I remembered. It was a lie. Um, okay. Right. Hello, I have to remember how to play Okami now. Because I have played two games between now and the last time I played. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's fine. I'm in perfect range for my lizard to watch. What is she doing? Fantastic. Um. Go, 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 go. Excuse me. I want a cheeky little bit of praise, please. Oh my lordy loo. Thank you. Why doth you hate me, trees? Are you serious? Is that not circular enough for you? Oh my god. It takes so long. Okay. Uh, so that was also Sanctuary. Go. Alright, that's fine. Th this way. Correct? Yes. The top! Run, my beautiful angel. Run! So we should be able to do... Um... That's it. Yes, okay. I am in the right place. Yeah, we should be able to go straight to the shrine now. Cause all the doggos. We got all the doggos. We have received the doggos. It's basically creepy music. I'm just saying. All right. I absolutely have by myself. Am I poor? No. I have bought everything. Eight, fifteen, seven, five. I'm satisfied with that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I, a doggo, need to go speak to my fellow doggos. Did she go to the shrine to wait for me? She went to the shrine to wait for me. Okay. Good, uh, good thinking there, girl. Look, the monster must have been here forever. Okay, sorry. I went in the completely wrong direction. It's behind the house. Not to the side of the house. Maybe. God, I'm freaking lost. <laughs> there it is. I'm not lost. I was right all along. I just bamboozled you all. Alright. Let's go. Dungeon time! Danger time, danger time. Okay. Oh, hello. Susano style sleeping monk hidden sake. What the? Well, looky here, it's Susano again. Rumble, rumble. All spirit who defiles my sword, I am closer than ever. Here at the Gale Shrine, where the beast makes its lair, your true form shall be revealed. This cursed barrier may bear way. My way, but if I pray long and hard, I shall eventually find a way in. Mumble, mumble, grumble, grumble. The lazy bum's talking in his sleep. Eh, leave him alone. Hardly anyone has visited the Gale Shrine since it has been cursed. This strangely frenzied man over there is one of the few. He has been meditating alone at the shrine's, the shrine's entrance, but his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man and and would like to render what service I could, but when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. 
Who is this strange man? Yeah, don't think about it. Come to think of it, Susanna said something about being possessed, and he's been acting all weird like that time he helped Kushi. I... Do I have to go speak to him again? What's the lady? Oh, oh, no, no, not that. By the gods, I vow to mumble, you won't ever mumble. Thought he was just talking to me sleep, but he seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it once so sad. Can I wake him up? No. Was I supposed to go inside the house? What terrible nightmares haunt his sleep. I pity the poor man who would like to render the service. Okay. You are not helping. No, I never... Please. What the heck's he dreaming about? Sounds like he's getting his butt kicked. Okay, that was mean. I do apologize. Hmm. Should I have gone back? Hang on. I've got a notebook, haven't I? Logbook. Found the three stomach arms. And put a spring dog. Yeah, okay, she must be inside the building. I thought for sure she was like outside, but she must have gone inside. Yeah, I can't blame her. I did take a while. Many detours. Alright, let's go inside the building this time. Where she'll be with the dogs, I assume. I thought she went and get the shrine. That's fine. It's fine. I'm coping so well. Fantastic. We're off to a fantastic start. Doggers! Look at the doggers! The canine warriors have yet to gather tardiness is unacceptable! You heard that, Hermie? What a hypocrite! A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight again one day. You got it. Hermie, I'll take you on any time, right, Furball? You bear strange markings, is that some kind of new style, huh? Oh, those red marks? I seriously doubt it. Are you a wolf? Where were you born? Yeah, come to think of it. Where were you born, Annie? The gods! Shrine above. Yeah, you Your pot is covered in evil, we are no match. You got that right, you might. That's why you gotta help us out here. Alright, here you go, here's your orbs. Why, it's my favourite wolf and bug. Enough with the bug thing already. I must have spoke to you. I must speak to you about the three remaining canine warriors. I'm sensing something different about them. Do you bring no word of their conditional whereabouts? Well, um, about that. We did find the other three, but, uh, you found them? Well, yeah, it's kind of a long story, but I'm afraid they won't be coming back. Instead, they gave us the Satomi power orbs. I see. Oh, she sounded so sad. Well, I did sense that the canine warriors had changed in some way. Maybe they had a fateful encounter during their journey. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be f broken have been forged. If they are to live apart from the Satomi house, I have but one wish. I would wish them to protect the peace under their new master, for that is the role they were meant to fulfill. Well, at any rate, all the Satomi power orbs have been returned. Now I can break Crimson Helm's barrier. I must get to the shrine. Look at him go! Whoa, check it out, the power orbs are spinning around us. How could this be? Have the power orbs accepted you as their new master? You bet. Master, what are you talking about, lady? One does not choose to take the orbs, they choose their master. Oh, magnificent power orbs, heirlooms of the Satomi house. Are those who... Are these whom you have chosen to decide the Satomi house's fate? Not even a Satomi house member, just me. Da wolf. We're supposed to fight that crimson helmet thing? The power orbs have chosen you. I have no right to question them. Whether to face Crimson Helm is your own choice. All I can do now is pray for your good fortune in battle. Right behind the house, I remembered. Stop writing your comment immediately. She doesn't even know how to play this game. I haven't played Okami in years. So while I have finished the game before, I don't remember everything that happened. Including the five minutes ago when I was here talking <laughs> to the characters.
Alright, let's go. Oh, I love that I'm running too fast for the orbs. That's funny. I love that. Yeah, the most sano. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair maiden. The orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Very well, you may pass, O savior of the Satomi house. Thanks, bruh. Appreciate it. Get wrecked, Crimson Helm. Oh. Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent was slain hundred years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a pool of his blood. Never let your guard down. Oh, look who decided to show up. Wait, 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 wait. The door to the Gale Shrine has opened. I must have finally communed with the gods. The time has come, foul spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. You just imagine Crimson Helm watches this guy walk in and is like, is, is that just a human? Not even a spiritually powered human, it's just a human. <laughs> No, Pops, wait. Ah, he had dialogue for me, and I skipped him. I The cardinal sin of video games. I'm sorry. Is not life dear to that man? Oh, have you met him? Beware for meeting Crimson Helm's terrible foe. Yes, we've already heard this. Okay, we get it already. Now stop trying to freak us out. You know what? That's fair. That's valid. I appreciate that. The way Isun's like, you know what? Shut up. We gotta go do it anyway. Don't be rude about it. I, I gotta say, this looks pretty nice for a, a shrine that's supposed to be taken over. Uh, let's just go down here. I'll have to go down all the passages eventually. As long as this isn't like a weird sequence break thing, I guess. Oh no, never mind. Aha, new enemy! Ooh woo, I hate it already. Oh, it's the tiger thing, but it's a monkey instead. I don't like it. I want to put it back where it came from. How do I get it to open? Thing. Never mind. I didn't- I couldn't afford the pee power, could I? I don't think I could pee. That's mine. No, 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 I can't. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Cool. Hey, this key has an exercising arrow on it. I bet we could use it to open door sealed with evil power. Correct. Okay, I was pressing the wrong button. I was like, why is he talking and I am not picking it up? I'm guessing maybe the arrow was... A door right up here somewhere. This looks familiar. Ah, yes, I remember this room. There it is. Let's watch it freak out. <laughs> Suffer for my art. I don't need to save. Not right now. No money, no money, no money. No. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, hey, check it out. You can't even see the ceiling in this room. Wait a sec, I've seen this mark on the floor before. Yeah, I know, I gotta use a bomb to get the elevator to go up. That was terrifying. Now that's an elevator. <laughs> oh, I like this green effect. It's very nice. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Um, I guess we have to fight. Let's go. Wow. This piece of shit's back. Oh.
Where the hell were you aiming, just an amateur athlete? That was a very dramatic zoom in. Now then, I'll take that. All's well that ends well. Um... I feel like that's probably like a stray bead and I can't do anything without a uh I think you can get a sword that has water power and then you can come past. Oh my god, it's all the way back down there. I didn't appreciate that. Oops. Eat it. Thank you. I didn't like that at all. I don't like falling down from high places without water. Makes my baby brain cry. I cry. Oh, the error is here. Get wrecked. Alright, cool. We're up the top now. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh no, I can blow it away. I completely forgot that you can blow away the fire. <laughs> I thought it was only water. Oh man. Really showing my brain cells there. Wait, was that a... That's free shit. We don't pass up free shit in this house. Ooh, that ominous... Noise. Very scary. Alright, Kazegami. Let's get you back up and running, sweetie. Now that's one big windmill. I saw it from down in the village, but I had no idea it was this big. Hey, what's that? It's swirling around in front of the big windmill. It almost looks like wind, but it's black and foreboding. It's as if the wind were being forced in the opposite direction. I wonder if that swirling evil air is what stopped the windmill. Maybe that's why the divine wind stopped blowing? If so, it must be the work of that crimson helm. Wonder where we could get rid of that evil air. See? I knew that would bring the divine wind back. Okay, one more left. We gotta blow the rest of that evil air clean out of here. What's up? All done. Now that the divine wind's back, bet the big windmill will. There she blows. Very sexy. Woo! Oh, look at Ami jumping. That's so cute. Yes, yes, yes. Finally, power. It's starting to spin. Cash from the divine winds blowing. Sure hope this drives away the evil down in Fusa Village. Yeah, I think it's fine. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Hmm, now what? We could have the drama. The, not the drama. <laughs> the dramatic effect. Give me horse. Give me horse. Give me horse. Horse. Give me the umagami. That horse has a very small face.
Oh, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long, I, Kazegami, god of wind, have walked to shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. Anything for you, Mr. Horse. I bet it was a divine wind that brought the wind god back. Now you can use Kazegami's Gale Storm Rush to Just draw the mark of Kazegami to create wind. Let's try it out. Hey, that windmill looks like a good target. Draw the wind mark like it's from the swirling evil air. Let's try and make that windmill spin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing it right. It should look just like that swirling evil air. Ami's not even looking. Ami doesn't need to look. Ami knows what happened. Ah, uh, what a refreshing wind. And the door opened when the small windmill started spinning. This wind is nothing to sneeze at. You should try this brush technique on a variety of things. But this is no time for us to rest down on our laurels. The big windmill sending the divine wind down to the village. That crimson hum still works somewhere in the Gale Shrine. And that serpent crystal Waka mentioned has piqued my interest. Let's turn this place upside down till we find both of them. One would say the treasure would be the word the boss would be, would it not, Isum? Auto, a foe. Ah, oh, that's my third one. Cool, I got an extra health. Yay! See, didn't even need to buy any. Alright, he's gonna tutorialize that um, chest down there, I'm sure. Hmm, that's a nice view. Oh, <laughs> wow, what a great view! Get out of my way, pillow. I was enjoying that view. Look at that, that's nice. Still got a nice water effect going down there, too. Oh, it's so nice. The shaders they used for uh, all the effects on this is so good. Hmm, wait a second, those treasure chests. I bet you could put the fire out without using water now. Correct. Give me my map. Gale Shrine map. Yep, it's the map. Ah! Ah! Hang on. Let's go up to the second floor. Sure, no worries. That treasure? From this one? Now there's like this... <laughs> it was a stray bean. Get wrecked. Alright, let's go. I'm looking away. I am not perceiving that fall. Alright, let's see. Thank you. Alright. Are you gonna teach me how to do this because I'm a dum dum? Yep, thank you. Appreciate it, Nissan. Please continue to hold my hand. I am a baby. You have the right idea, Ami. But I think you're making the wind blow in the wrong direction. You gotta send the wind blowing towards the windmill. Fine. Can I do it this way? I can. That's good. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Take that. What is it? Brush tips. You idiot. How dare you not know how to do this? The game says. Check out those massive hanging scrolls. Looks like they're enjoying that wind you brought back to life. But be careful, it'll blow us away if it gets much stronger. Wouldn't it be a shame if that happened? Damn it! That always happens. Really? Right on the fire? 
I'm really bad at jumping on those things. Depth perception in this game is a little hard. I obtained a pearl. All right, let's try that again. Infinity stone. Ah. That'd be useful later, I'm sure. I hear some rats. You're so sucky. Love to see it. The wind stays up for a decent amount of time, so let's just play it safe. Kinda gotta really rely on your shadow here. Wooden bear! Okay, there's another one. I guess this is like the tutorial one, so... I think that would be nice to you, you know? Alright, cool, we made it. Good, 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 good! Like that. Free shit, and I can sell it later if I really want. And before I jump off. No. Oh, I don't need that. Wait, is this it? I swear to god, there was more to this dungeon. Maybe I'm thinking of Orochi's. I know Orochi's dungeon is massive. Or maybe in comparison. I don't know, I feel like. This is gonna be like another room's worth of enemies at the end, right? Deep. No, I'm deep in the Gale Shrine. Oh wow, I thought this was gonna go for at least an hour. This uh, Gale Shrine part. Well, I guess we might be doing a Roach's Dungeon tonight. I mean, today. So I have some. Those dragons are very cool. Very nice. Oh, there's the golden gate. Boss time. Let's go. Hmm? You see that, Amy? It's some kind of crystal. Looks like a berry or something. I bet it's a serpent crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know the item that Waka guy was searching for? Sweet, they found it before he did. Oh, you poor innocent fool. Okay, but that's cool. They're like, uh... Horse heads. See? Horse heads. The horse god here. Oh, this music build up's really nice. What an entrance. Smack! Love it. This guy's pretty cool. What is in the head of me? A crimson helmet. Hey, it must be crimson hell. The deduction skills. <laughs> he really does look like one mean dude. But to psych yourself up for this one, Turbo. Protection! What the heck? Aren't these the Satomi Power Orbs? They're gonna protect us or something? Probably. Cut in! 
Yes, got it. Damn, that pillar really did just get obliterated. Rude. Ah! Out of the way, Furball. The armor goes back on quick, go for a strike. Yes, got him. Got him. Man, he tried so hard to hit me. Oh, oh that dodge. Woo. All right, all right, we get it. You don't like when I give you the strong attack. I love the head shape. Ah! Alright, I deserve that. Come on, get him! There we go. <laughs> Those reapers are cute. <laughs> Oh no, who could that be? Huh? Is he chickening out? Coward! After him, Ami, quick! Back you, Kurt! I'll handle this one. Charge! What the heck's he doing? You know what? I, I give him points. For, uh, <laughs> How's it going off? <laughs> it's gonna get sliced and diced. Time for some brushwork, Abby. I really love the way your roaching still moves when you're in when you're in this bit. It's just like it's so powerful, you know. Take this. Sorry, he was saying things that I wasn't paying attention. Take that. Oh, he's only in the prize out. And that. <laughs> I love how surprised you And to top it off, now for some wind! Okay, can you imagine if I just didn't bring it now? That'd be so funny. But I don't want to slice it. Yes, wind! More wind! The Crimson Helm just standing there. Now you're talking. Wait, there's more. Man wants more wind? Behold, the secret technique. Wind of Wrath! That was pretty funny. Mr. Skeleton. Now I'm positive. This is not my doing. It's the gods! They toy with me! Will you never stop mocking me? You hear me up there? Are you happy now? The god standing behind you. Oh, why must I bear this burden of being Nagi's descendants? All I wish is to live in peace. Do you enjoy dogging my every step? Nice choice of words there, buddy. You okay, Pops? Blast, you gods. I don't want your power. Boo-hoo. <laughs> this... 
<laughs> this whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Enough of these legends and that is descendant stuff. Now, just leave me be. <laughs> what the heck's that? Come on, you guys should know better. Yikes! Go away, huh? That voice. One after the other. You're driving me crazy. Stop it, I don't want to hear about that now. He run. Go away, leave me alone. What was that, Amy? Yes, new rosaries! We might be using these lads. These might be some good ones. We obtained divine instrument, life beads. Rosary that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. They're probably stronger, so we might keep them. This tool! He stole my goods! Bonjour! Am I- oh, am I interrupting something? Come here, I'm gonna piss on your face. Oh brother, it's that half-baked prophet again. Hey, that's- that's... What, this? It's the serpent crystal. And it's mine at last. You got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. We found it first. You little bitch. It won't do you any good. I mean, I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. Then go do it! Stop yakking! Or yapping. You know, the barrier at the Moon Cape or Richie Stronghold? Yeah, sounds like he's awake. Huh? You calling me, big boy? <laughs> Keep your scales on, I'm coming. Hey, what's going on? Why are you going over to Richie's place? He got summoned! For a lovely dinner. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Time for another prophecy. Yeah, what bullshit you got today? I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing. Anyway, I must be off. Au revoir, baby! Bye, don't come back. Now you wait a second. Dispel the barrier at the moon cave? What the heck's he up to? I mean, that sounds pretty straightforward. This is no time for your victory, how furball. We gotta get out of here and get on with our mission. Quick. But the victory, how? That's so unfair. No, my victory, how? Yo. you like to save the game? Sure. One mean dude. I like that. That's funny. Oh, we'll do our own victory how in the background for her. Very good. Ah, oh, the doggies! Why, my favorite wolf and little bug have safely returned. When the windmill at the shrine began spinning, I knew it was you. A most refreshing wind began to blow down into our village. You have defeated Crimson Helm and restored the divine wind. The canine warriors rejoice, but they're a handful as usual. I don't know how to thank you for all you've done. I too would like to give thanks to these heroic travelers and Princess Fuse, last of the Satomi House, you have done well. What? You know Princess Fuse? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and head priest for the shrine. My lingering fears about Kusa Village kept my spirit here, but thanks to you I can now travel to the Great Beyond. Princess Fuse and the Canine Warriors still have much to learn, but I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. There he go! He gone now. Oh, that's all. Not awkward, but sad. She couldn't see him. What is it, you two? What were, what were you looking? What were you looking? Oh, no, nothing. 
Anyway, princess, there's no need to thank us. Just keep protecting the villagers, head priest of the shrine. I know you'll have your hands full with those pesky canines. They're right there. I've been rather feeble since our last head priest perished. But as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit. Thank you. Good lads. Now if you excuse me, back to Kamiki Village. Whoa there, Furball. Let's think about our next step before we scurry off. Was that shadowy creature with those heads really that monster? Our future's pretty bleak unless we do something about it. I mean, I'm too young to die. I'd like a chance to use all those brush techniques too. You didn't even so much as growl at that shadowy creature. You slayed that monster long ago, right? I bet your partner Naki was the stronger of you two. Or maybe that legendary sake really packed a punch? Yeah, that must have been the sake. I mean, the legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? It's about time for that village's annual festival. Let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. It just might do us some good. Besides, a good festival is always fun. If I could get Saki or a little tipsy, then maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm going to squash you, little bug. I mean, I suddenly feel like a new man. Let's go. Also, she's a god. Yes. Like, what do you plan on achieving? Ah, Tarashima, how are you going, my beautiful lovely? What have you missed? Uh, Crimson Helm. Beating up Crimson Helm. Smashing that bony boy up. And now we're gonna go get drunk. As is my rightful reward as a goddess. Village looks good now. Get out of the water, I mean, no time for that. Um, I might buy a new mermaid. Buy some shit. I'm sure it was important. Um, okay, there we are. No. No. I pressed the wrong button. Get out of my face. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's go to that uh, mermaid spring. So glad I can do that after playing um, Arceus and uh, dying if I do that by running off a cliff. I appreciate games that just don't bother with fall damage. Let me jump off cliffs! Um, okay, I got a forest Shinchu field. Two Shinchu fields. <gasps> oh no! Looks like it could start pouring at any moment. Oh, that, that's not, um, that, that, that's fine. We might even be in for a storm. Mm, a storm is one way to put it. Let me just go check if there's nothing else here that I might want. This guy's still open, right? Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay, on a giddy, what you got for me? Oh, yeah, 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 we don't, we don't want the... Yeah, 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 amazing. I don't want the pee technique right now. I don't need it! No, yeah, I, I I get that. I get um the bad uh shit that I, I swear to God there was a term for it back when I was at uni. We had a term for it because I remember we did a class on it where it's like people who ex experience like when you experience real life things, but it's in a game. So like if a character falls off a really high building, you experience it yourself. But like not everyone does it. Like some people really like that you can just do that kind of shit in games, and I like it too. To an aspect but certain angles and shit yeah i i don't look when it happens that's what i call a full moon come to think of it doesn't the kamiki festival fall on a full moon this time of year oh no they get to finish off all the sake if we don't hurry come on um come on amy yeah head in i just uh, just fuck that sentence <laughs> i didn't read it all the sad music oh yes absolutely festival happening here i guess The ear twitch? 
Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred, sacred sake meant for Konohana? Huh? Susano did what? I love the from Ami. You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. I don't know. Mr. Orange sounded pretty fucking mad. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. Uh oh, this is bad. We need the eight purification sake. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake pops? <laughs> the silent nodding. I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Naki and Shiranui's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. Yeah, you're welcome. I pulled that out of the dregs of a uh, fish's stomach for you. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. <laughs> there isn't a drop of a purification sake left. Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kyushi brewed has gone. <gasps> she dragged that all the way from a gutter forest. You fiend, you absolute madman. I cannot believe this. Shaking my head, Susano. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, eight, pur eight purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. Timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. Uh, maybe don't say that out loud. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. <laughs> I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. You oh, that was a door slamming shut. Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred, sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the moon cave. <gasps> It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. So, uh -huh. What is that fool talking about? Yeah, they're just mad about the sake, bro. I'm sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Naki. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukiyomi. But the legend was true and I've unleashed an unspeakable and the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness. You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? Bro, bro why would you even risk that? Even, even if you thought it was just a legend. You steal on some dude's sword? Long dead? I fled to the village out of fear. <laughs> Then I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me, at my wooden sword. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. So, I love the way he's projecting all of this from the other side of the door. I know the Tsukiyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished, but if what Susano said is true, that would mean Orochi's right of sacrifice. Oh no! Dun dun. I wonder who it could be he wants. There's so much selection in the village. Hayabusa! She's coming. Lord, is she coming? Oh wait, this one's a boy. Anyway, they're coming. There sure are some elemental symbols. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly right. Why are you all on the bridge like that? Is that all of his heads? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. All eight of his heads. It's kind of weird that one of them is a light. <laughs> but, you know, I guess he's just like all the elements, right? Oh shit lord, is that an arrow? Oh my god. Quick, someone call Mika, we need him. Oh lordy, that arrow be flying. Go Hayabusa! Fulfill your duty! Yes! Queen. Oh 
king, whatever. You're welcome. Saved all your lives. <gasps> I took the happy day away. Oh no, it landed on Kushi's house. Whatever shall we do? <laughs> on the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. There is literally only one maiden in this village. If you go by the, the virgin maiden aspect. So, bro, who was it gonna be? If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. And somewhere in the distant, Orochi curses his aim. I meant to hit the child! <laughs> Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. Just pick up the sword yourself, Kushi. We know you're the true hero of this story. You could do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. She's so brave. I know you'll come. Wait, Kushi. You're not going to... Look at her run! I fucking love the way Kushi runs! Oh, she got changed real fast! Ba -ba -ba. Behold, my Thunder Brew! The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. I brewed this bitch so hard I'm gonna get that serpent drunk! <laughs> Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? Kushi's the new hero. Look at her run! No, Kushi, wait! Yeah, how far are you gonna run, man? Did you not see the speed at which she moved? Can you just peek in behind there, maybe? You coward! You absolute coward. Don't worry. I got your back, baby. Here we go. Wait, I want to see what this guy's going to say. Is he going to comment on the commotion and then tell me to go shopping? What's going on? The legendary hero Nagi called this village home. I thought it would be a safe place to do business, but I think I better sell out my stock and head back to the city. Don't suppose you're on a city out to buy anything, did you, Bob? What an assumption. You don't have anything I want. Get out of here. Yeah, head back to your shitty city. The only thing your city is good for is a, a very nice sword. Ah, oh, she didn't get very far. You okay, sweetie? Heh, <laughs> don't try to stop me, you or you, Snowy. For Richie's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki Village. Okay, but real talk for a second. You're the only like maiden right does, does he do this every year or every like 10 years to allow like children to grow up because honestly you guys are fucked no matter what happens because you don't have a single other quote unquote maiden in your village so the next time orochi would just destroy your village so who, who cares you might as well fight back right if orochi chose yeah i already read that sorry but that's not why i'm doing this what there's too much suffering in the world oh what a queen look at her go I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you win with a little jug of sake? Yes, Susan. I guess I am crazy. That's the only way. My sake is the only answer. Oh. Huh? I'm going and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Let's go. Not you too, Annie. Dang it, why'd you get all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn ya. Riding with Kushi, very good track. Let's go! Let's go! Out of my way. The queen and her steed are coming through. Let's go, see Mika. Oh, look, he's already out waiting for us. Mika! Yeah, bro, what's up? Tell me the gossip. Give me that sweet gossip. Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering around outside. 
He doesn't seem that concerned. Alright, GG, man. He's got his own shit to deal with. Something about exterminating shit. The man's closest to death after all. He's the closest to the moon cave. Alright, where's that little bitch sprouting his nonsense? There he is. Ugh, this guy. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Right, he just flexed. Richie's like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> you need to pull out your sword. Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. You didn't uh, change the text color that time when you said serpent crystal, but that's fine, whatever. It's not important enough anymore. Sword! Sword. Points. Sword. I love the half break profit insult. I mean, where's the lie? Oh, the snacks! Oh shit, they're moving! Oh, they're, they're moving to the tune! Oh, there they go! Oh no, look out! He's controlling the snacks! Fantastic. Amazing. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I like the way I prepare and walk is like, eh? What you doing there? <laughs> Kyushi. Well, we tried our best. Why you? What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Ha ha ha. I got you then. Oh, look at Abby go. Dang, it looks like we've been set up again, Abby. Bamboozled by the half baked prophet. <laughs> so I checked you weren't a part of the legend, Waka. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Monchari? It's time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Oh my god, stop talking. <laughs> Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. <laughs> Pardon, Monchari. That wasn't a very good one. Yeah, shut up, get out of here. Au revoir. Goodbye. He really did just jump away. Look at him go! Bah, guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. We? Half-baked indeed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cut out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Fine. Let's go. Oh, somebody's on the move. Oh my god, there he is! It's the boy- it's the man! Who could that be? Ooh, it's a mystery. Oh, my little lizard man's on the move. Are we gonna sit in the food bowl? We're not gonna eat the food, we're gonna sit in it. Okay, lovely. You use half that brain cell you have left. Alright, now this is a dungeon. Oh great. The stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. Leap before you think. I know it would take a lot of guts to do that now. 
That's fine, let's go. We gotta go do the... Look like Mr. Orange to me. Oh my god, can you stop spoiling everything, please? <laughs> Can't believe Mr. Orange came to take on Orochi. <laughs> Whoa, that was quite a fall. What have we gotten ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts, Furball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Great Orochi. Over there. Exclamation points. Oh, you. Never mind. Never thought I would see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. You fix them for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with big players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Why, you're just a dumb old wolf, huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And to stray so far in a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Thank you, that's so nice of you. Calcify Cavern. Nice. Very good. It's the sake! The Thunder Boo! The fragrant sake represented the culmination of Kushi's skill. Kushi's skill. Hmm, there's still some left, but I want to show it be enough to take care of Haruchi. We'll do our best. This is a good track. Haruchi's place is banging. Yes. Oh, I haven't got quiet yet. Hang on. Um, grab the text. Who's read the draws from two weapons? Um, wait. Oh, you can try this. I feel like this one's not as good, but we'll try it. I distinctly remember one of these rotaries being shit. Um, which is so bad. They are just the sub weapon after all. Remember when I get a sword, we're swapping to a sword. New enemy, new enemy, new enemy. Booga booga. Bonk bonk. Alright, sure. Got a lot of tusks there, friend. Oh, I remember you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flashy, flashy drum boy. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That sounds like a legit name. Oh no, he stepped in the water bowl. Jesus Christ, ass. You obtain a mask! In space covering, wear it to be accepted as one of their own. Because they're, fu <laughs> they're fucking dumb. Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. But this one's so plain, no design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Alright. Here we go. Can I fit it? Can I fit it? Oh, I think I can fit it, lads. Let's see if it'll work. No, I'd be a bit too big. Tail as old as time! <laughs> XD face! I'm seven! <laughs> Does it look all bad on you? In fact, you look better than your run of the villain. <laughs> yes! Now you're one mean looking at But seriously, there's no time to fool around. Only a nymph would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. Shut up! I just got cold out. While we're screwing around here, that orange is gonna take poor little Kushi and, and I can't bear to think about it. Finally, random humor. <laughs> Let's 
Oscar revealed this crucial bit of information. Little did they know. Ah, oh, fine, go back to the gate, whatever. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't. That's fine. Hello, it's me. Hmm? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? There was that silly looking wolf a while back, but nothing else out of the ordinary. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the Greater Rochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help! Oh, uh, okay. I'm on it. <laughs> I love these imps. They're so funny. To the moon, Ami. Oh, that's cute. Let's go. God, I love talking to these imps. It's so much fun. God, they're so dumb. Alright, let's talk to this guy first. Huh? What do you want? I bet you want to trade jobs with me. Well, the answer is no. I've always wanted to operate this elevator. And now, finally, it's my turn. I couldn't wait to turn the crank. That means the elevator moves, you know. When the water low recedes, I'm going to raise and lower this elevator to my heart's content. Adi. He is the Adi. Alright, to the kitchen! <laughs> Those are some toasty lizards. <clears throat> this is a fine time for the chef to disappear. Last I remember he was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? Where do you think he is? I'll give you five guesses. Because I'm generous. Don't question how this magic suddenly works. Mmm, delicious. I, I think it's so funny the way they just kind of organize all of this uh extra shit for Hiroki. <laughs> owie, 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 hot stuff! Hey, sweetheart, yeah, you! Get me out here before I end up well done! Owie, owie, owie! This guy's got a name, a Jimmy. Phew, that was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities, you can just call me a Jimmy. Head chef a Jimmy. I was cooking with such a tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care? What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. <sighs> he knows true beauty when he sees it. What an- oh yeah. Say, how would you like to be my assistant? Anything for you. Assistant? Oh no, I, I have to whip up a lip-smacking appetizer to whip Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, 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 we, uh, didn't come here to help, you see? Oh, how should I put it? Just, just, never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's people. <laughs> beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, fruitcake. <laughs> That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here goes. Ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Got that? Okay then, I'm counting on you. Oh silly me, I almost forgot. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. Thank you. I'm gonna destroy someone's face with this. Oh, I haven't saved since the game was right. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't really matter. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go find that gate. Or lock, whatever. We're gonna talk to all the imps because it's so fun to talk to the imps. So, hi, where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? It should have been ready by now. Lord Orochi's gonna chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those darn cooks doing? Hey, don't ring the Yupiseren bell yet? You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer's ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's wrong before that. Okay, I won't do it yet. Maybe later. Alright, let's go in here. The imps are underrated if you ask me. Honestly, Truly, this is the greatest dungeon of the game, and it's so early in the game, it's a shame. Like, none of the other boss, major bosses, can compare to Orochi's henchmen. 
There's just something about these goddamn imps. It's so funny. Watch your step. Watch where you're going, Furball. Alright. That's kind of rude, don't you think? Oh, sorry. I pressed the wrong button. Seriously, I kind of wish we had like a return to them, you know? Yeah, I get it. I've already done one of these. Oh, you're gonna fall! Look out, it's it's upside down! Oh, 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 look out! Ah, uh, death. There's nothing over there, I might as well skip it. True gamers. Don't need to go step by step. Hello. Goodbye. I massacre everything in my way. I could have done the uru face now that I think about it. But the XD one is just... It's just good, it's classic, you know? You were in my way. Now you will perish. Oh, I need to I need to test the um I completely forgot to test the rosaries and see how strong they were. Or if they fire decent. Because the other ones go really fast, so it's good for like rapid little chip damage. Obtain ogre liver. That's terrifying. Why does it look like a bowl? Whatever, that's fine, that's fine. Nothing else here? Alright, first ingredient done. Let's head back to my beloved chef. Chef, not chef. Uh, you're right, I'm sorry. How will people know? I'm a fake fan. Whee! Looking good, looking good. What a sprout, okay. That totally wasn't there before, was it? I don't know, I might have walked straight past it. John! Jump! Love it. Can I drop something down here or something? There's like a... Usually there's a way to get the, um... Whenever you go up a little... Like a quick way down so if you fall down, you know. Return path. Kind of thing, blah blah blah. Anyway. Until then. I can't believe that works. Alright, what have we got here? Breaks easily, so be careful. Careful now, I mean, better tread lightly. I'm gonna break as soon as I'm on close. Oh, yeah, actually, that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, deserve that. I mean, this is where I have to go anyway, but, you know, deserve that. Oh, that's what I can hear. I'm like, I can hear something. If I don't try it. Gosh, that is really Okay. So it's like multiple in one hit. I don't know which one's better, honestly. Hmm. These ones are pretty. Okay, we'll keep these ones for now. Let's we'll see how we go. Damn, someone is active today. That's what's happening at the time of his life. He's doing renovation. He's moving all the dirt around in his enclosure. Getting his face disgustingly dirty. Alright. Let's go. There we 
we go. There we go. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. No questioning. And that should drain the water. Now, Elevator Man will go up and down. There you go. You're welcome. Here! Hot. Don't you go opening the valve without the signal. I'm warning you, Lord Orochi doesn't suffer fools lightly. Do you, don't you realize we're just cogs in the machine? Now be a good little cog and stick to what you're supposed to do. Traumatic. I love it. I mean, to be fair, the first rosary is pretty good uh, because of the, the fastness of it, the pace. It really depends on how you like to use it because this one, a bunch of the attacks miss. But like the other rosary usually locks on better. But um, it's more powerful. Than that. It's like a contained burst. I think this one might work better for now. But yeah, it does tend to depend. Sneeze in the distance. Alright. Let's go. Yikes! Oh, wait, sorry. Gulp. Now that the water blow has receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel we're weak in the knees. The elevator will go to crashing down to the bottom if I don't confirm to on this crank here. So you better not disturb me, got it? Okay. So, uh, yeah, if I want him to go down. I gotta knock into him. Found one of the ingredients. I just adore you, Powder Puff. Powder Puff? Here you go. You can have this. Hee hee hee. With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord of Richie shall deepen. Oh, you're so cute. Let's go knock this fool down. Yikes. Yikes. what I needed. Uh, now I need to go up because I need a safe way to get down there. Go up to go down. You know how it works. He's just so in love with Orochi. I, I, I appreciate that, you know. I'm a snack lover myself. I love watching this guy freak out. Dance for me, monkey. Dance! One more should do it. Maybe not. Deeper than I thought it was going to be. Good little monkey. Hello. Hee hee hee. I got the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight, the sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. <laughs> You're so mean. What door are you guarding? Oh, this door. I don't like watching their feet move in unison. That's a bit, uh... Oh, hello, battle.
Wow. Okay, yeah, doing decent damage. Obviously, I was just standing still so I could check out how uh, much damage I was doing and stuff, but that was okay. I think I'll keep them for now. But I will probably go back to the rapid fire ones soon. I hope the next rosaries I can pick up a rapid fire. Oops. That imp's probably pissing himself right now. Yes, here we go! New brush, new brush, new brush. Gobble gob, new brush. Hmm? What's with this ice statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. Amy, this is no ordinary chill. It's kind of creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. Better be careful. <coughs> oh, sorry. Demon fang collecting. I haven't really done... <coughs> sorry. I went down the wrong pipe. I haven't really done much. Uh, mostly because... I looked at the prizes and, or like the things, and like none of them really looked that appetizing. So, uh, I was gonna wait until I get the Golden Fury and then just do that a bunch. But um, yeah, I couldn't see anything from the first guy, so I'll probably have to wait till I get to the city to see what the second Demon Fang dealer wants, because I'm sure the items will be better. Isn't there like one that's like an unlimited mermaid coin or something? That could be useful. Finally, Phoenix. Well, chicken on fire, but <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Look at Abby's face! This Phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Little did you know. Ho ho ho! A record did you know? I love doing them slightly off center. Very fun. Smoke on your pipe there. Love this rooster. <laughs> What's up? That's a massive bomb you got there. <laughs> oh, I must the origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Sealed away by the dark forces. I have spent years in this cave. Time passes, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Boegami, god of flames, led you by fiery power. <laughs> Bird a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. Yeah, I think the the golden cat magnum was the only thing that interested me from the first guy, but yeah. Very expensive AF. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start collecting. That's fine. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Moegami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. Its technique, known as Inferno, reduces almost anything to ashes. Hmm, who should be our first victim? I know, that ice over there. Listen up, Ami. Inferno is based on the power of fire. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno, but actions speak louder than words, so try it on that ice. Place your brush, blah blah blah, yeah. If I swap back to the reflector here, I'd be able to use the reflector of fire. You did it, you big furball. That's one hot technique. It'll probably only singe a few scales off that Haruchi. But it'll make crispy critters out of the snake's underlings. I would never hurt my fellow imp brothers. Congrats, you melted it. Now you have to do another thing. Love it, thanks. Infinity stone. What can I go up, please? Wee, it's been so long since anyone stopped by. I was worried the crank was going to rust from lack of use. Well, let's crank this thing on up. Wee! 
This poor imp. Look, they're just trying to do their job. I respect them so much. Fine. Chewy Lips uses an ingredient to reach his appetite. I don't like the way he eats his underlings. That's very creepy. Oops. Yep, just don't comment on that. Whee! Ice. Hello! I have a new ingredient for you. My good sir. Your mind is about to be blown as your love for Orochi grows. Oh, sorry. My apologies. What do we have here? You found one of the ingredients. I just threw you pop off. Pop off. Hey, hey, hey. With each sick ingredient I add, my love for a lot of Rachel Shuffy. Okay, up we go. Uh, I need to light that ball on fire. Which means I need an access point for. Fire. Sorry. Dig first, and then we can. Um. Need to get back up there. Seriously, what a banger. Ugh, oh, man. Sacred leading up to and at Origins. That's so banging. Okay, so I went in there last time. So let's go over here. Okay, I don't have an arrow for you. You're gonna get shitty at me. It's fine. Um. I'm gonna go as far as I can, right? Wait, that's not gonna blow? Oh. Okay. Not yet. Okay! Doing our best, doing our best. Comes in here again, this was the ink guy. Oh no, this is the bridge. Right, this is where I'm supposed to go. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, Hammy, you're actually heavier than you look. The power of yours can easily handle a broken bridge, but why don't you think about going on a diet first? I have no words to express how rude that was. Did I build the bridge back stronger, or did I just make it shit again? <laughs> I'm genuinely curious. Alright, this looks like it's gonna be another item, hopefully. Or at least it'll help me get it. Yep, there we go, there's a fiery eyeball. Zoom. Damn, someone spilled some spicy salsa in that eyeball. That one, that was funny. Hang on. 
Oh, that one's just dead. Ah! Words cannot begin to describe how unamused I am by this development. I'm on fire! Get off! Thank you. I'll take that. One ingredient left. Very nice. Delicious. Just what I've always wanted. Okay, the door I came in. The door I leave through. Alright. Ah, the arrow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um... come back. I probably have to do the second Inferno technique here, maybe? I don't know. That shit's not till later. Upgrade techniques is like the city. Ugh. Yawn and I'm Impatient. I am working on it. That was a Roshi, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. Oh no. Maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten her cushy. Her poor cushy first, has he? Hope not. With the effort I am going through to get this man his food. Oh, that's a nice illustration. Alright, eat this, sucker. Hmm. This looks friendly. Skull dunes, don't play with balls. Ah, what's with all the sand crumbling off the ceiling? Ami, we'd better be extra careful around here. It's actually dandruff. Come on, Richie. He's got a mad case of dandruff. Uh, I can't move that on my own, I don't think. Do I have to blow this? Oh, no, I can move it on my own. My bad. No, don't go into there. Safely fall down into the pit on my left corner. Did you mean from here? Or did you mean over there? I've just found a clover. Hang on. Was that the room I was just in? This one? Wait, in that one or this one? This one, this is in the corner, right? You meant this one? Do I drop the ball down there? Or do I just jump down? That, uh... didn't do anything. Saying yes to be dropping the ball down there. I'm gonna do it anyway. No, Yamate, get off there. No. Yes. We'll go around. Oh, maybe I have to, yeah, trigger a cutscene or something. Alright, well that didn't work or do anything. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just go do this. Cut you up. Huh? I thought I saw a path for a second when the sand blew by. 
Distressed ink noises. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try to respawn. It's cool. It's cool. We're fine. Oh, I found where the ball's supposed to go. It's that hole, but you'll see it on the map. Hang on. I pressed the wrong button. How the hell did I press that button? This hole? This one? Ah! Oh, okay. I get you, I get you, I get you. You were right, it was one in the corner. There you go. Nice. I thought there was gonna be like a stray bead or something down here because I just assumed when you when you say random knowledge, it means there's a stray bead down here. So how do I get back up? Oh boy, I'm so smart. What I thought? Hello, salute. It's me. All right, full time. Okay, no, none in the moon cave. Thank God. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you can't get back in here, can you? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we're off to a good start. Thank you. Oh, I hate moving objects like this. It's so slow. Do I have to have the sand active? Fall off. I have no words to express the level of my disappointment in you right now. <sighs> oh! Spawn point! Thank you. It's very generous of you, game. I appreciate that. To be fair, you do also hurt me. Let's test that theory. Ah, the path still exists. Thank you, collision detection. Fuck me! Alright, we'll get that. <sighs> we'll get that. <laughs> You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. Who's got this? I've got this. Cool, 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 c
Be good. No more, no more. Fresh try, right guys? Come on, game. I know you were generous enough to acknowledge that I got it in just then. Thank you. Ooh. That was an experience. Obviously, first try. Duh. You know it. You know it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, my good sir. Merchant. Hmm. Here for a snack or something during a break? Well, I'll take a pick. Just don't try to stiff me. Uh, okay, I already have that. I absolutely am already using that. You don't have anything for me. Thanks, man. Vincent's burner. Okay. Can I? Okay, I've activated the pedal now, so I can get back up here. Hmm. You guys will work with me. Danger, do not use the cannon, it's out of order. I want to do just the opposite of what the sign says. Guess I should change my title, it's in the fearless. First try! <laughs> now, is there anything else? No, okay, that was it. Now I gotta get back over there. Oh, hang on. I can access it from here. Sweet! I hate jumping over those puzzle. The wind, wind things. A lot of rocks, a lot of rocks, a lot of rocks. Hello, friends. How kind of you to join me today. Did that laser just come out of your bum hole or is there someone behind us? I think that laser just came out of your bum hole. Okay. Whatever. Give me that yen. Give me that yen. <sighs> of course, another physics puzzle. It's just what I goddamn want in a PlayStation 2 game is a physics puzzle. Ah, oh, this is still better than the sand one. Any and also anything is better than the stupid lily pad game in the city later. Oh, you'll hear about that. I won't shut up about it. Oh, yeah, I can actually use that help. That was very nice. Thank you. Now, what's that? Yeah, I think they both work. Right there. Shloop. Thank you. Anything else? Alright, this should be my last uh, appetizer, right? Okay, the laser came out of the skull. Not the bomb hole, I get it. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Yeah, my Thank you. That'll be the, I don't know, whatever the hell the last item was. The fang thing. Black demon horn, whatever that thing. Mmm, delicious. Ground horn. I heard Orochi loves it. He's a creep. An alcoholic creep. 
with the imps is coming to an end this is so unfair. Yeah, Jimmy, what's up? What do you have here? Yep, there you go. Oh, I missed this one. So I'm sure it was important. Hee hee hee. With each secret ingredient on add, my love for a lot of virtue shall deepen. Okay, now that I have all these secret ingredients, it's time to finish off my special dish. Featurize upon my fabulous skills, darling. With the true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Okay. I love the way he waited to put them all in. Mmm, okay. that looks so delicious! Ta-da! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any course. I give you my ultimate recipe. Dung heap slime bucket goulash. <laughs> this shall make that main course crucial taste a thousand times better. Well, we mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Europe Serum. Ring that bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Y'all so cute. Burning now. Now then, I'll take that. Thank you. Some shit to sell because I ain't using that goddamn pouch. Here. Kotani, pottery. Alright. Hello, can I ring this bell? Hee <laughs> hee, at last. The the meal is ready. Let the bell ring out. Let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi has heads. Ringing the bell is normally my job, but seeing as how you've been just itching to ring it all this time, I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring with wild abandon. Can do. One. Jesus Christ. Two. Three. Seven. Eight. Eight heads, eight rings, eight bells. Ding dong. Look at that cute little dish bowl they gave him. Cute. Oh my god, that one imp is massive in comparison. <laughs> he swole from lifting up the uh, chains all the time. Phew, that sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. There's something about that place that just terrifies me. Sorry, pal, but would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? <laughs> what, what? Are you insane? Oh, come on, please. I mean, I want to take a peek at Lord Orochi's throne room, too. Come on, just this once. But, but, but we're just Lord Orochi's lonely underl underlings. Hey, you guys are the backbone of this society. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Really want to go? Yes. I can see that you won't change your mind. I'll take you to the throne if you want to go that bad. After all, I was born to operate this elevator. What a guy. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Lord Orochi would never be able to accomplish what he does without you. You'll see the throne room once you're over that slope ahead. But if you don't hurry, you better be... You better be ready to get gobbled up, along with the appetizer over there. Go grab a peek at the throne room and then hightail it, high it back here. I love the way, like, he's gonna wait for me. Like, that's cute. What the hell? I love you.
gate. All right, we might as well finish this episode off with a, with a smash. So let's go. Let's go beat up Orochi. Let's finish this off. Let's start fresh next time. Yes, an arena I am all too familiar with. And the 10 billion times I've had to beat this guy up. Where are thou, Orochi? Emmy, look over there. Gushy, no! We don't hesitate, we go straight in for the kill. Man, Orochi's so cool. What a cool boss. Yeah, that would wake anyone up. Damn, look at that! That is so cool! This is such a good boss fight. Oh, I love your little lightning face. No, my XD! My mask! My, my impotentity! <gasps> I'm so naked! Oh wild god of the heavens! 100 years have passed since you imprisoned me here. How is it you have come back after perishing and turning into stone? 100 years in a cold stony tomb. You reek of decay. Speak for yourself. I've heard enough. Bottoms up, big guy. I like the way he actually did just drink it. <laughs> the other faces are like... Shit, did he just do that? Man, that's hardcore. We so hardcore, guys. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright, hang on. I get to pick which head I want to fight at the beginning, right? I love the waterhead so much. Look at it, it's so cute. It's so good, honestly. This is like top tier boss fight. That cheetah has a barrier up. What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Furball? Oh wow, it just completely ignored me. Not Kushi. Run, Kushi, run. Hold it right there, Vital Serpent. Oh, love it. The wind in the background. Susano, you came. I knew you'd come. Have no fear, Susano is here. Finally, he grew a backbone. Orochi and I have a score to settle. Pops? Long have I awaited your coming, O oh descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us to the chill. <laughs> He's not interested. The descendants of Nagi have kept me imprisoned here for 100 years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. Bleed for me, Susano! <laughs> what the heck Serpent Breath talking about? A blood pact with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Oh, he who seeks power, your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. <laughs> That's asking a lot. <sighs> Do I, uh, can I think about this? 20 questions? Speak the words I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. Well, it's not a blood pact, is it? Where's the blood bank? You two shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Orochi's trying to tempt Susano. I bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Well, who else? The sword? 
Now utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pack. So desperate. Oh, I shall. God, he's so funny. I am the descendant of Nahi. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Hear me, vile serpent who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Take my wooden blade. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Whoa, that level of dedication. That man just shoved a twig in the dragon's face. Foolish beast, did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. If it is my fate to fall battling evil, then so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Naki is all I require to slay you. There it is! <gasps> Magical sake! Glittering gold sake? Is that eight purification sake, Ami? Yes, yes. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. Let's not waste it. Time to work your magic, Ami. Here we go, baby! That was a nice color effect. Your stupid face doesn't scare us, you big worm. Quick, Ami, the sake! Shoot the egg purification sake right into Orochi's gaping mouth. Ah, the little snake! Little snake! Sorry, I got distracted by the snakes. Get drunk! Oh, you might hear some noise in the background. Uh, Adas has gotten very excited. Scratching around. It's working, haha, <laughs> take that, you big worm. Keep it coming, Amy. A little snack behind me! Hey, 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 hey! I'm busy here. Oh my god, Daz, why did you pick an outer wanna come out? <laughs> get down! <laughs> That's one down. Don't stop there, let's get the other heads drunk too. That's so funny. Alright, you're the bonk. Bonk. Love it. Ah! Damn it. You guys clearly enjoyed the fight as well. He wants a go! He wants some of that eight purification sake. Has finally dissolved. And if that's the case, then you're free to finish Orochi off with your weapons and brush. I know. There, one head down. Let's go. Let's 
dummy. The time has come. O sacred moon of the heavens, come forth and pierce this darkness. Bear witness to the beast's demise upon my trusty sword, Tohen Boku. Did he say moon? Right, the legend says that the moon was shining when Nahi slew Orochi. That's so cute. I love when he's my Susanna style blade of truth. Good. Will. Never. Give. In. Two. Evil! Ooh, my hope. 
finish it off, Emmy. No, Fido. I don't need your help this time. Now for the ultimate in Susano style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver! Damn, that's intense. He's gonna have splinters for days. <laughs> I love it! Dearest Jushi, just as you devote your life to sake brewing, the way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Oh, Susano, why do you look so serious? Come on, laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. Who responds to that? Ha 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 I, I forgot it. I, I didn't see its name. But it, it's a new glaive. Hold and release button for charge attacks. It's great. Dun dun. You thought that was the end. Dun dun. Oh no. Dun dun. Tis only act one complete. That didn't look good. And so it came to pass that 100 years after its first defeat, the dreadful Orochi succumbed to Amaterasu and Susanoo's onslaught. As the foul beast left a foul breath left Orochi's twisted body, the curse lifting. A powerful sword known as Sumu Sumugara Gari, sorry, Sumugari appeared. Okay, so it's not Sukiyomi, it's not it's not true. It was the reborn form of Sukiyomi, which had been consumed by Orochi. Armed with this new blade, Amaterasu prepared for further adventure. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse. Splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. Our story, however, is far from over. In fact, it is just beginning. That's right, Ami. We're just getting started. I mean, we can't let a great adventure simply end like this. Now give me one of those famous victory howls of yours. Finally, we get the victory howl. Oh. Yes, queen, go off. Love it. Yo, did good, did good. Well, that money's going straight into my next glaive when I get that. So At last, at last the time has come. The unseverable, uns yeah, unseverable bonds between heaven and earth. Waka, the situation has grown urgent. You must return to the city at once. Just then, Amaterasu, you may have slain Orochi this time. But do not assume it will be so easy the next. Dear Lord, this man, nothing is ever good enough for him. We get it. We get it, okay. Check out that starry sky. I know they're up there somewhere, my furry friend. Those constellations of the brush gods are just waiting to be found. Yeah, we'd be uh, halfway there by now. Or a little bit more than halfway there. Oh, that must have been one of Thomas' fireworks. What if the villagers already found out that Orochi's dead? 
Oh, I know, it must be the festival. They just started the annual Kamiki festival. Oh yeah, time to party, Furball. Back to the village, hurry. Would you like to save the game? Sure, why not? We might as well finish the, the village off, though, before we end. It makes no sense to celebrate next time. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it, TS. Have a good sleep. I feel it. I sense it. The ancient monster disappearing with one final roar. That man, Susano, has a relentless and mighty drive within him. Huh? I sense a new driving force for okay. Susano now. Could it be love? You're curious about Susano's fortunes in love? Well, he should be back here in the village. But I don't sense him anywhere. Perhaps he and his special someone are talking in secret side. You must not poke your nose in their affairs too much, my friend. Or my furry friend. Whatever. I mean, he right, he right. Hayabusa, you champion! <laughs> You defeated Orochi and saved the village. I am sorry I was too busy with my own duties to help you. Oh, relax. A dog's gonna do what a dog's gonna do, right? <laughs> nya nya, I can't catch me. Rushi's all fired up about that whole digging record again. Even Ume is no match for Hayabusa's whole digging skills. Well, I guess I have my own challenges to face too. <laughs> this might be the last time I play with Rushi. You see, I want to face new challenges. I want to see the world become a real man, just like Susano. Aren't you like 10? Jesus Christ, kid, calm down. But I'll never forget the time we spent fishing together, doggy. Uh, where's Mushi? There he is. Hey, it's the new king of hole digging, Snowy. I'm gonna be best friends with Hayabusa forever. After all, he did save my life. I'm gonna dig up turnips like there's no tomorrow. I know it was you who slew the dreaded Orochi. That was quite a feat. Oh, shucks. We had a lot of help from Susano too, you know. Oh my god, are you guys gonna lie down together? No, you're just gonna, you're just gonna chill together. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hey friend, where have you been? Did you hear about Susano and the Monster Man? Freaky, he used to do his best to avoid trouble. I'll drink a toast to him, to the brave warrior. Ah, you look like you're having fun, Wolf. Just chased us some monsters off your territory, have you? You know, the festival's a time to honor our sacred tree, Konohana. Maybe the gods smile on us and lent you their strength. Ah, you well off, Wolf? Thanks to you, business is good. I'm enjoying a celebratory drink. Ah, looking at the crescent room reminds me of Kaguya. Do you know anything about her, Wolfie? Do you know anything about Kaguya? Yep. Oh, sure. How could a wolf understand what I'm saying? How ridiculous. Then why'd you even ask, man, Brew Brain? <laughs> okay, we're back. Alright, so we had a bit of a hiccup there. Sometimes, I don't know, this happened yesterday. It's, I don't know, I've got to get up. She just kind of shits itself, and I have to restart the whole program. Which takes a little while, but uh, I think it froze when we were mid talk with um, Bamboo Man, but he was just asking about Kaguya. It's not that big a deal, that's fine. Okay, and then we went up here. Uh, let me just redo this. Uh, I, I didn't talk to anyone because by the time I realized the streak had left, that happened. I, I was mid speech with uh, Mushi's mom. Let's go back up here and talk to these guys. <laughs> fireworks! Tom is making some fireworks. Oh, look, it's a footprint! <laughs> Rishi's mom's face! The radish! Love it. <laughs> What's this new sake of Kushi's? Thunderbird, was it? <laughs> Goes down like a charm, and before you know it, the bottle's empty. That sounds dangerous. I'm so happy my husband's dance went so well again this year. Now the spirit of Konohana, our sacred treat, along with the spirit of Orochi, can rest in peace. Oh, how wonderful! A truly joyous occasion. Susano defeated Orochi and saved Kushi. It was as if the legend of old had appeared right before our eyes. I had feared Susano would bring dishonor upon his heroic village. But when I saw him as he dashed out of his door in his armor to save Kushi, he sure was a spitted, spitting image of the great hunter. How happy I was to see him like that so. Of course, I've never glimpsed Snuggy in the flesh myself, but. Say, where did that Susano get to now? I was about to dance for Konohana instead of presenting the usual offering of eight purification sake. Anyway, it's it's all his fault. He squandered all the sacred sake. Oh, sorry. Oh, I totally didn't mean to do that. I feel really bad now. Wow, I just run into her and then more fireworks. Sorry. Very rude of me, I pressed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Truly. Truly. Not me. Alright, let's go say hi to Sakuya. 
gonna congratulate me on a good job. What a good girl I was. Oh, here he is, Tama. Hey there, caught the festival set and thought you'd come play, huh? Well, what do you think? You like my latest works of art? Nothing like seeing them up close, don't get too close though. You're ready to be amazed, here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky, the fabled duo spectacular. Is this me? Is this Ami? Ami, listen, are we gonna be in the sky? Oh, there's a doggy! Oh yes, there we are, look! Ah, oh, it's Susano! That's cool, I like that. Gahaha, <laughs> there you are. Impressive, eh? Indeed. Wow! Look, look sis, the fireworks are awesome! Yeah, we're so lucky to see a display like this on our travels. Man, there's nothing like a good festival. I used to go to festivals at the time back home. Sigh. Oh, I wasn't thinking about my mommy or anything like that. Anyway, I mean, you can't keep sucking off like this. Can you even name all the brush techniques? So far you found nine. Let's see, there's rejuvenation, power slash, and sunrise. Then there's the three-part technique of the gods of flora, you know, bloom, water, lily, and vine. Generally count as one. And finally, there's cherry bomb, water spout, crescent, gale storm, and infinite. What about the other four brush gods are hiding? Where? The reigning four brush techniques are the hardest to find. We've searched all over the countryside already. Now that we've taken care of that Orochi and all, maybe it's time we head out to the capital city. If there are more people, there could be more gods there. Don't let it bother you, I mean, I haven't seen Susano or Kushi around either. It's not too hard to figure it out though. I mean, a man and a woman disappeared during a festival? That's a dead giveaway. They have the hots for each other. I wouldn't go looking for them right now if I were you. Why does that almost sound like exactly the same as the ending of Spyro 3? <laughs> I love it, it's great. Down to the village, and that should spur the next, uh, get that, the next arc for all the. Call it quick. Oh, hang on. That looks important. I'll take that. It's free. Free real estate for the dog. say when we go out here. Oh, my wallet's full! Okay, we need to upgrade my wallet. Well, that wraps up this year's Kamiki Festival. Sure hope they can have fun like this again next year. Well, Furball, I think it's about time we head into the capital. We gotta find those other four brush gods. Okay, that sounds like the end of it. So we should be right now to... Yep, okay. Starting the day off. Oh, Sakuya! Amaterasu, you have only just performed your duties yet you plan to leave. My heart aches at the thought of our separation. Sakuya, you didn't have time to come you didn't have to come all this way just to say goodbye. Boy, you're pretty uptight for a tree spirit. But at the instant of Rochi's passing, I I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion I distinctly sensed an evil other than a Rochi. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there something else at work? Shinshu has been restored. Of that there is no doubt. But nature's tormented cries ring out in other parts of Nippon, especially chilling of those emitting, emanating from the capital in the Hiroshima coast beyond the bridge in Taka Pass. Well, we were planning on visiting that place anyway. The black essence born of Horichi's husk, it was moving towards the capital as well. I cannot say for sure exactly what that means. What I do know is that whatever has plunged this world into chaos has not yet finished toying with us. This ordeal is far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? My apologies, little one. The challenges you face on your journey will be many. But I know that, though you will grow weary, you will prevail. The road you travel will be fraught with peril, but I pray that the fresh scent of flora will protect you. Amaterasu, listen, I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. She's gone. A safe and fruitful journey? After what she said? Give me a break. But I always know getting all the brush techniques wouldn't be easy. On to the capital. First stop, the city checkpoint at Taka Park. Thank you for pointing out where that is. We're gonna go back and save. And then I don't have to deal with that conversation again. But that's basically the first arc of Rukami Don. The, uh, the Yorichi arc, and then we now we move on to the capital arc. Which has its advantages. Not advantages, that's the wrong word. It's fun times, I should say. 
Good fun, good fun. But that will be for next week's episode. Slash stream. Thanks for coming, guys. And watching me beat up Orochi. There we go. There's some celebratory box. And I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.